Hello everyone and welcome back for another C Sharp tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over deserializing JSON. So right now our program um, we have a uh, an HTTP client um, and we have um, an asynchronous method that gets a response from this URL using get string async from our HTTP client. And then we just simply return the response that we get, which is this right here. Okay. So now we want to actually parse this and use this um, as like a class object. All right. So how would we do that? Well, let's take a look. Um, they're all the same. Um, all of these objects are, but um, notice that they are in an array so keep that in mind but anyways so we have our object here um, and we have the user ID which looks like an integer the ID which looks like an integer the title which looks like a string and completed which looks like boolean uh, a boolean so let's go ahead and make this so class to do and we can create our first properties, public int um, user ID, get set, all right, and then public int ID, get set, public string title, get set, and then last but not least, oops, huh, interesting, um, public bool um, completed get set. Okay. All right. So now that we have our class object ready to go, let's go ahead and actually uh, deserialize this response. So what we're going to need is a NuGet package. The NuGet package essentially allows us to use a namespace that we don't have access to right now. Um, it's essentially a package of code that we can, uh, that we can grab from uh, the internet. So um, go ahead and right click, do this on uh, Windows as well. Uh, go ahead and right click the solution. Excuse me, um, yeah, the solution right here. And then you can click add and then add NuGet package. However, on Windows, it is a little different. You're going to right click the solution um, and then you're going to find where it says manage NuGet packages for solution and then you'll see the screen. So fortunately we don't have to actually do any searching because newtonsoft.json is right here and you can see by the number of downloads that it is incredibly popular. Um, but yes this is a very popular um, NuGet package in fact it is actually the recommended way to parse JSON um, when Xamarin University was around. So I haven't looked at Microsoft Learn um, in the past couple of months, but I'd assume that this is still the preferred way to parse JSON because it is so, um, so incredibly, um, I don't want to say easy, but um, convenient, I think. Because this concept might not make sense, too much sense right now, um, but Compared to other languages, um, this is definitely the uh, one of the best ways to parse JSON. Okay, so let's go ahead now and use it. So we can make our new JSON object. We'll call it to do. All right, and then we'll just say to do. Oops. And this will equal instead of a um, instead of a new class object, we're going to make a JSON object. So JSON JSON 
convert and you're not going to get anything because we don't have the namespace. So we can just option click and select um, Newtonsoft JSON. Okay. So after we select JSON convert, we want to deserialize this object. All right. And we can map this straight to to do. All right. And then um, what are we mapping from though? Well, we're going to map from this response that we get back. All right. Response. Okay. So this response, again, let's, uh, let's go over this. This response that we get is this. Okay. Now this right here is a to do object. So, um, this means that we have our class. This is essentially, yeah, a, um, um, a class that we want to uh, map from. So this user ID, we've already created this ID, we've created this title, we've created a property, and this bool, we've also created a property for it. So when we get this response, so we can just say, hey, if you, if you have a user ID, put it here. If you have an ID, put it here, all right? So let's go ahead and run this to make sure that we're doing this right. It says build successful. There you go. All right, great. So I figured this would fail. And because like I said, um, this is actually an array. So it can't deserialize it because we didn't map it correctly. So we just essentially, if, if we would have, um, if we would have mapped to one object, this would have been fine because we have this to do object mapping from one to do, deserialize the object into one to do list and call it a day. So if we were to, um, if we were to actually make this a list like it should be, so we could say list to do, all right, and then do the same over here. Okay, so now let's go ahead. Actually, we want to, um, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we get an error. And no error. So let's see if this actually worked. Um, I, be, I believe that the best thing here um, well, at least to C is just to write line and we can say to do dot, let's see, actually we'd have, since this is a list, we would have to, of course, do a for loop. And in here we can just say, we're just going to grab one to do list item var item in to do. Okay, and then we can console right line out of here. All right, so we can just say item dot, um, let's see the title. Okay, so let's see if that works. And there we go. So now we were able to actually grab the titles specifically. So this is pretty cool. So we can grab um, a JSON object and actually um, display the title. So there's a lot of really cool things you can do with this. Um, you can grab from a news app. Um, you can grab from really any database um, that has an API. So if there's a massive database that has um, essentially an API that you can use then you essentially can do this and then have all of this information and use it in your application. Um, some fun APIs to play around with are Twitter and Facebook APIs as well. So, but we will actually be doing a practice on using um, JSON.net and the things that we can do with parsing JSON and uh, making some fun things. So join me in the next video and until then, thanks for watching.